In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can take a Google Form link where the Google Form is in English and create a Google Form that is in Spanish. So the first thing you want to do is when you are in your Google Form and you're working on your questions, you want to make sure you hit the eyeball icon so that you can preview the form. So this is the link that you want. You want the view form link. So you're going to copy and paste that into Google Translate. Okay. Um, now you're going to go ahead and make sure that you've got the languages detected that you need. And in this case, I'm just going to paste that link. Okay. For the form. And you'll see that on the opposite side that I've got a new link. Select the language that you want and then open that form. Okay, so you'll see that on the upper left hand corner, it'll say Google Translate English to Spanish. Now make sure that you test this before you give this link to your students to make sure that this Google Translate option is available in some districts, it could be blocked. So I have my new translation here. Okay, now of course this is a banner, so this is actually an image, so it's not gonna translate, but the rest of the form should translate nicely. This says check-in, okay, so that's beginning of the day check-in. Um, I've actually also included an audio file uh, with the instructions for the students if they wanna hear it, but you'll notice that that audio file is not embedded in the form, it's actually a link that they can click on. Um, all of the instructions are in Spanish and all of the questions have now been translated. So two things that you can do with this new link. Okay. You can go back to the original form. Okay. Go into edit. And then in the instructions at the top of the form, you can say, click on this link to take the form in Spanish. Okay. Or you can simply say Spanish version. Okay and just let the students know that they can do that. I know it's a pretty long link, but that's the way it goes. Um, and then now when you, um, when you preview this new link, okay, this new form, you'll see that the two links show up. Now, this might be um, kind of an ugly <laughs> link to put there. So one thing that you might wanna do is you may wanna go to one of the URL shorteners. Okay, so you can go to a URL shortener like bit.ly, so bitly.com, click on login. Okay, this is just one of the URL shorteners that I use. You might use Owly, that's another one. I haven't used that one in a while though. And so you can see that I actually use um, bit.ly quite a bit. I'm gonna go up here and click on create and enter the really long URL because it's long and it's ugly. And I'm gonna say, create. Okay, so now I've got um, a URL that I can use. I'm gonna give it a title. Okay. And now, uh, okay. And now I'm going to just copy it. And that's a much nicer looking URL. So let me go back to my form, okay? Now notice that the edit button only shows up on the English version of the form, okay? When the form is in this Spanish version, there's no edit button for me, okay? So I can always go back to the original URL, all right? So now I'm gonna go to edit and instead of having this really long, ugly link, uh, sometimes kids won't click on it anyway. Now I've got a nice short link and if I go to preview, I can just click on the short link to get my Spanish translation translated version, All right? So I hope this was helpful. Um, I will also put this video in Google Drive along with another video that I found while I was trying to find something to help me um, that includes how if you don't want the form to be translated, you can actually make a copy, take a screenshot of the questions. And this way it's impossible for the kids to have it translated. <laughs> of course, if they use their camera and they use lens, they can use it, but 
it's it won't be easy for them to just right click and translate all right hope this was helpful